which is a major third, and you stretch it out over an octave. So your order of your notes is not going to change. You're still going to have G on bottom, you're still going to have B on top, but now we've taken B and moved it up the octave. So this is a compound third. The quality does not change, it's still major. The quantity, however, is going to change, obviously, your distance is greater. And so to get the correct quantity, all you have to do is add seven to this number. So three plus seven is 10. So we have a major tenth. Let's do another example. All right. A to D is going to be a perfect fourth. To make this a compound interval, we want to stretch it out uh, by an octave. So let's keep the top number or top note the same this time. And we're going to take our A and move it down an octave. So that's going to be way down here. And so now we still have a perfect interval, but it's stretched out by an octave. So remember, to get the quantity, you add 7 to this number. So 4 plus 7 is 11. So we have a perfect 11th. 